Whew. Man, I'm tired. I think I might need a coffee or something. I mean, it's really true. We all need energy to survive. Um, whether we're looking at the sun right here, the sun has tons of energy. And right here, cell phones, they require a ton of energy. And if you look at me and you, we definitely need energy to live. Today, we're, we're going to be looking at is energy flow and how energy travels throughout a system. I think a nice easy system to start us off would be electricity and how electricity is produced and how it's consumed in the United States. Um, so when we're going to look right first, look at first is how energy is produced in the United States and there's so many ways it's produced. Um, so we're just going to use two examples. So one way I think of often is uh, nuclear power. So nuclear power is one way we produce energy. Another way that's a little more green might be considered solar power. These are two, just two examples of how electricity is produced in the United States and then different things consume that electricity. An example of something that might consume electricity from a nuclear power plant might be your electric car or your hybrid car. Another example of something that might be uh, consume electricity from a nuclear power plant would be something like a hairdryer. Also, so your nuclear power plant is producing electricity, it goes into your electrical car, but then you're also consuming energy within that electric car to something like your radio. Okay, that's how one small example of how electricity is produced and how it's consumed by different things here in the United States. Now let's look at life. So when we think about things that produce energy, first of all, everything starts with the sun. So that's why we had the sun right here in the very beginning, because all of the energy on this earth that life uses starts with the energy from the sun. So things that take the energy from the sun, one of the biggest things is a process known as, and you've heard of this before, photosynthesis. So photosynthesis takes light energy. Photosynthesis. So things that do photosynthesis, we typically think of plants. So photosynthesis takes light energy and turns it into a form of chemical energy called ATP that other things can use. There's also another example besides photosynthesis of ways life can produce energy. And that process is known as chemosynthesis. I have to write nice and small so I can fit it in this box. Chemosynthesis is when you take chemical energy and convert that into energy that life can use. A great example are these guys right here. Uh, these are big giant tube worms that live by hydrothermal vents that are way deep way in the ocean and they take the energy from these thermal vents and convert it into energy that it can use so it can live and other creatures feed off of these. So really cool. Okay, let's go back to our photosynthesis and plant example. There's different creatures that feed off of plants and there are things below it. So these are producing, there's things below it that are consuming that energy that photosynthesis created. One example of that are herbivores. Herb Herbivores. Herbivores, I always like to look at the term herb, those guys eat plants. Another consumer would be an omnivore. Omnivore is like us or humans. Uh, omnivores can eat both plants and they can eat living things. So they could eat like an herbivore or a cow or something like that. I know I like to have my hamburgers. Um, another consumer would be a carnivore. So carnivores will eat herbivores and they'll eat omnivores. The two ones below here are often, you haven't heard about them as much. One of them is called a detrivore. And a detrivore is is a creature that feeds on dead animal remains. An example of this would be a crab. So crabs often feed on dead things. So detrivores 
are also consumers. Another one that you probably haven't heard of are called decomposers. Examples of decomposers are things like fungi and bacteria. And what they do is they break down organic matter. So right here is, you know, the flow of energy of life. Up here at the top, you have plants and different things taking light energy and converting it into chemical energy that life can use. And then different things like herbivores and omnivores will eat those plants and get that energy from that, the plants that produced, excuse me, that got it from the sun. And then carnivores will eat the omnivores and the herbivores. And then you have these other two things right here, detivores and decomposers, that feed off the material that's right here. So this is an intro to the flow of energy, and there'll be more videos to follow on this concept. Thank you.